Hollywood and history converge as Oscar-winning producer John Landau tours the Titanic exhibit at the museum in Kitchener. Among those joining Landau are museum director David Marscal, Christie Digital president Jerry Reimers, and museum board member Frank Butzis. Landau, who also produced mega-hit Avatar, reminisces about working with director James Cameron on the blockbuster movie Titanic. So what we did when we started pre-production, we went to Harlem and looked at the builders of Titanic. And we told them we were making a movie, and for the first time ever, they released the original blueprints. No kidding. So we got to build all of our sets based on the based original, on the original blueprints. Yeah. And Jim's first uh, script had many more rooms uh, that we were intended to go into. And we, we cut them down for, for budgetary purposes. We were supposed to go to the, the hot tubs, the Turkish tubs, and all this stuff. And we began dwindling and, and cutting it back. But one of the most memorable sets for me was the dining room. And, 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 and building that, and, and then sinking it. And when we were sinking it, the, the, the water would come up around the set, and the walls would creak, and you'd start to hear the, sh the, the set sort of pulling apart. You could only imagine. And the china lifted off the table as we're standing there, not sound effects, and started bumping. A, and it, it, was, it was chilling to do it, you know. And then we had to do take two. <laughs> <laughs> well, this looks very much like uh, Kate, Kate's room. Right. Yeah. You know, we, I think we did use some of the very and similar when... color palette. And, and the, the, the sitting chair that she, she sat in for posing for the, for the picture. For the painting, and, yeah. yeah, yeah. And the hand mirror that she used when she, you know. And I heard that, wasn't that Jim's hand in the picture? Too? Yeah, he Jim did the, did the drawing. But he's a lefty. So we had to do the drawing the other way and flop it. Flip it. Yes. Oh. <laughs> the other thing we did with the exterior of the ship, we only built one side of the ship. And this whole Southampton dock, we built on the correct side, but it was backwards, so we had to flop all the film. So if you were on the oh, set, really? Southampton read backwards, and because we only had the ocean on the side, so out. like every other shot, it was boom, boom, boom. When we shot this sequence, the glass dome, we dumped the water in, and we dumped it out of um, storage containers. We had like four of them set up, and they all, and the force of the water caused the stairs to come off of its foundation. Wow on our set and as we were flooding it the stairs were floating <laughs> and it's interesting because if you go to the wreck now there's no you know, semblance of the stairwell there and it's not yeah, too unlikely that the same, same thing, thing happened. would have happened mm -hmm. yeah yep and this is uh, where Fabrizio and uh, and Jack would have been yeah yeah okay now, here you go, come here, come here. So now we're being filmed now, okay? This is for the record, all right? Okay. Tell them your name. Chantal. And, and your, your family wants to be in the business, right? Yes, Film yeah. business. I have two brothers, yeah. And they're both hoping to get this, and yeah. you have one before them. And I them. have it before them. <laughs> there you go. Woohoo! There you go. And which one did you win that for? Titanic. Yeah. With Kate and Leo. Yeah, best picture. <laughs> and not only that, it's numbered, and what's the number? 2929. Oh, there we go. <laughs> so we went backstage that night, and Jim had won three Oscars, and he asked me to hold them all. And I looked, I now had four Oscars in my hand. I picked out the best number, and I kept it for mine. <laughs> so I remember mine's 2929. I have no idea what his are. So, there you go. Perfect. My leading lady. <laughs> Thank you.